because I played Dill right before Silvio, and Dill utterly destroyed me. So I'm like, <laughs> in this house, I always root for Rob going down. I don't even care at this point. Rob is a whole different kind of character, man. But now we have Wolf versus Wario. Arguably a pretty, pretty even match. I mean, Wario's frame lasting for 40 something god, sort of 40 god knows what frames. Like, this is a really screwy matchup. As long as Silvio is careful about, like, how far he extends with his pressure, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be that bad. Because, like. No, no, it's not bad at all. It's. It's or, this. It's if a you miss attack, this. that happens, you know? Like, it's not even just that, it's the fact that, like, Wario's great at fighting you in the air. Wolf doesn't particularly care about being in the air unless he just needs to be there and put an aerial in the box. And normally he's doing that when he's in control of the situation. Like, Milk's gonna have to play this, like, really defensively, I feel like, if he wants to try and curb any of the options Silvio has. Yeah, man, and the funny thing, and the thing is that Wario has, Wario in this game can play how he wants. He can play campy and, and you know, use the wall, or he can play aggressively because that Nair can easily just cross you up on shield and then you can, you know, up till, up till, and you can trap a lot of people like that because sometimes people just won't know what to do. But we see, look, look, you know, ooh, the clap. And a couple of them through, but still it's not leading to much. Yeah, no. Why you, Sylvia's build up a tiny bit of damage, so not all is lost in this set so far. Okay, I do like the option to just use that bike and throw it on top of the platform for the coverage. It's all a matter of locking away that airspace from Wolf. Because like I was saying, like Wario, once he's in the air, he's in control. And you don't want Wolf to have an opportunity to take that away from him. Otherwise, all you have is just a fat hurt box waiting to get pummeled. Speaking of fat hurt boxes. <laughs> They're big. Wario is a thick boy, guys. All right, getting hit by Dash is like, Silvio playing this very, very well as soon as I say that, bro. Silvio playing this very, very well, but now Milk has what he's been wanting for the, you know, since the beginning of the game. He has the wall confirmed. And that, this, funny how when he does have it, Milk does play with a little bit more confidence. You know, he, he starts giving you the clap. He starts trying to convert into these combos. And it is a fear factor that you, that you have if you are Silvio. Well, look at it this way for Wolf. Worst case scenario, things go really haywire and he has like a free recovery option by way of lofts. Best case scenario, He's netting a really early stock, maintaining a lot of advantage, all without having to commit to staling any of his more important options. Oh, like, Shield not like Wolf's gotta it. get, like, Milk's gotta get there first. Because this Wolf has just been on top of him all the way. Oh, good. Like, one really good thing that I've been seeing from Silvio is, like, where, like, when he's choosing to go in with his options, he's staying, like, just shy of Wario's, like, danger zone. And then opting to press the arrow back there. Yeah, no, for sure. And I do, and, and, I, and I definitely do like that as well because it's helping him just not, just pretty much not get punished. And the, but the thing is, he's walked. He isn't killed. Like if he fart, if he gets farted on, he is dead. And he knows this, which is why he's he's playing so safe right now. No can't seem to catch him. They're not going to do it just yet. Wario is a heavy boy. I feel like it's it's the matter of the the decision making that you have to take into account with Wario, where like. If Milk uses the WAF now, damn, then he wouldn't have had it for this last stock because now he's in position to end that stock really, really quickly. He can tie up whatever's going to happen here because he's showing at 192%. He can afford to lose the stock and still come down with a relatively easy to confirm win condition. Yeah, man. Speaking of win condition, here we go. Oh, not going to actually continue the combo. Man. Oh, you but thought he got the sour oh, spot. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Milk. But you know what? He is still in a super good position as Silvio is just getting hammered this stock, recovering the percent that doesn't really matter because it's like 3%, he's still at 200. But hey, we take those. Okay, oh, ooh, doesn't get the confirm. I know he wanted dash attack right there. I feel like Silvio just starts hunting around with up tilt, like he's gonna net a kill. Like 212 is. Like, even for a heavy character, you just throw out something that will kill. But hey, it's yeah, Milk no. he's throwing out options to get himself ahead in game. And that's the thing that you want to, that, you know, I want to point out with Wolf. He can kill super, super early or super, super late. Because at a certain point, if if well, you're out of Wolf's kill percent range, he has, to, he has to hit, like, a raw smash attack or a raw back air or, you know, an up tilt. Uh, but... Milk did a great job of knowing this and kind of just made Silvio 
chase him the entire time that Milk was in the lead, knowing that, knowing himself entirely, he had Waff, and that's exactly how he how he ended up winning the match because he just got he just got so much damage from the amount of pressure that he put on him. Sylvia threw that one away. It was a bit unfortunate. Um, he kind of just lost lost his way once once he lost the stock. Um, he, he chipped away too much instead of going for the for the kills. You know, Wario is super good for Nair uh, for Nair flash range. Um, you know, for Nair to fair, Nair to dare, like I feel Nair like to bear. As I mean, odd as it is to, to say, I feel like Sylvia was actually respecting Milk a bit too much. Exactly. Yeah, one hundred percent agreed, man. Like. You play in the neutral, like Wolf has fine neutral tools, but a lot of what cements him at the higher end of play in the current meta is the fact that this character can just rob you. Like a good read here or there, you're ending stocks really early, or at the very least, cementing control of the stage from all angles. Yeah. And I do want to see that change from Silvio. I do, uh, you know, definitely put a little bit more pressure on him. He is playing great in terms of getting uh, milk to, to, to these percentages. But I do want to see me kind of keep him a bit there and kill him with Wolf's, uh, you know, the KO moves that Wolf has him right now. Okay. Blaster going to take out the bike. Dash attack not going to do it just yet. Trying to get the two frame by angling that uh, forward tilt down. I think a little bit more confidence in Silvio's play can go a far way for him because he's not even really contesting milk when milk returns to the stage, be it from a high recovery or even a low recovery. Where, like, Wolf has a lot of options for getting himself back. Yeah, and that's the thing about, um, you know, Wario has the air, mobile, air drift, air mobility. Call it what you want. He has the speed to actually catch Wolf in the air as he's coming off, as he's coming on stage before he makes the move, you know? Because when Wolf recovers, you know how he's going to recover. You know when he's going to upbeat, and you know when he's going to sidebeat, depending on where he is in terms of the stage. So I want to see uh, Milk actually take advantage of that and hit Silvio before he does that. But, you know, Nair to back air, going to take it as well, so we're, we could just go back to, to, back to square one. <laughs> no, you say it's square one, but not precisely. We already see the flash from Loft coming out. So like one and a half. <laughs> well, nonetheless, it's Milk who's sitting there like he's winning this game as long as they go for trades. Time is always a factor that's benefiting him. Yeah. So I feel like that's another reason why game one ultimately fell into Milk's hands. The fact that Silvio trying to play a more patient game doesn't really work out against a character like Wario. who's just more outfitted for that style of play, from the tools in his kit to Milk's style of play. Like he's ready to play the long game. Yeah, and I, I think that's an attribute that every Wario player needs to have because of the because of the nature of their character. Now, one twelve percent, man, it's it's looking bad for Silvio. A backer at the ledge is probably going to kill at this moment, so he needs to close the stock out fast. Right now, if he gets a fair, he can convert that into a bear, but I'm not. This is looking dicey, man. And it's important it's important to note that when when Mike is on stage, Wario obviously can't use it. So that's when you should kind of be a bit, be more aggressive on him and just kind of like say, hey, if you get off stage, you're not going to recover because I have your bike on stage. Uh, what's the option from the ledge? I like the reverse chomp from there. It's a cute idea. And, you know, Milk doesn't... Damn. Milk doesn't seem to need the bike. He didn't care for it at all. He didn't go back for it when he had the chance. He just wanted to keep Sylvia at a disadvantage. And maybe that was his plan all along. <laughs> just leaving the bike there does enough work as it is because it's going to extend the hitboxes that go through it. And it, it's not really an option that's necessary for Milk to use. He's not getting put into any positions where he needs to use it for recovery. And Wolf is strong enough of a character that he doesn't have to respect it as an approach to it. Yeah, no. Great uh, shield. Uh, shield. Uh, F's, F's, four. Oh, I'm, I'm losing work. Good? Yeah, I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay, I think. But <laughs> great up smash out of shield, taking that now, taking that other stock. And now we are we are pretty much back. To, we're pretty much even. With Wario with Waff. And you know, one thing I do want to point out is that Milk doesn't really use his Waff until he has to. And he had it, he's had it the whole game. At this point, if he would have used it at the beginning before, he would have had it again already, you know? Yeah, Milk traditionally has kept his Waft as, like, a nuclear option. Yeah. Because he knows he can confirm it to it. And if anything, it's nice to have something like that against the likes of Wolf. Ooh, great conversion. 
But it kind of does make it predictable, though. If you don't use it, if you don't use it, then he's, Silvio, the the, the the fear aspect goes away because it's like, oh, well, he has it. But I know he's not going to use it till like the last stop. You know, it's almost like hoarding in an RPG. You want to hold on to all yes. those materials <laughs> until the very end because you oh! never know when you're going to need it, and then you never get the chance to use it because you're already dead. But as you said, the bike extends the hurt box. Silvio knowing this and actually using down smash, which is the best option that he could have that he could have done because. Milk air dodges a bit, and then boom, caught hit with the extension of the hurt box from down smash. And that down smash is already freaking gigantic. Yeah, it really didn't need any help. Well, this is more gigantic. Enormous. Mammoth. Huge. Huge. Huge with a capital Y for the bleach. <laughs> All right, so game three. Uh, to no one's fault but, but Milk's own, because he just didn't pull the trigger fast enough. Yeah, and that's one thing that I wanted to do, you know? Like, when you get Waff immediately, try and convert. And if you throw it out, well, you're going to get it again by the time the match ends, especially how the, how these matches are going. They're not particularly quick matches, you know? And, like, we know that Milk is confident in his world. Oh, for sure. This is the type of stage that facilitates that type of, like, confidence behind your play so far. Because Smashville's kind of on the smaller side, and Wario was able to oppress that middle platform super well. Like, if you see Milk hanging around below the platform, all that space is his, and he's able to poke out and threaten towards the ledge with, like, very little commitment. Letting Silvio get into that space is going to be really dangerous for him. He's got to be able to build up damage quickly and sort of lock Silvio away at the ledge, even better yet, off stage if he can. Yeah, no, but he's doing, he's doing a great job of kind of just... Keeping Wario away, Sylvia that is, of course. Uh, he's playing super, super safe and forcing Milk to play his game, which is something that you definitely want to do when it comes to Wario. But, you, but the thing is, now comes a hard part. Wario's at 100%, you know? He can die from a forward smash at the ledge. He has... He ha he's a big boy, but he, he needs to take the stop right now as the forward smash missed time. not going to do it just yet. Great shield by uh, uh, Milk. I lose words sometimes, hey, man. Yeah, you try. I mean, listen, it's our <laughs> job to use some words. But that, but that was a perfect opportunity for Flash when he got hit with a soft part of Nair. Silvio not going to do it just yet. And we've seen these two frame attempts from him, but they, but he hasn't been catching. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Just throw out the, the classic anti-air option. Chuck the bike off. We've seen that from Silvio a couple of times. And you're right. We've seen the whiff forward tilt at the ledge quite a lot in this set. In fact, I don't think it's actually caught milk no, once. No, it hasn't. I feel like it would behoove Silvio to sort of go off for drop zone there. Just to at least extend the plays. If he's not going to get anything to follow up off of it, he can at least afford to nair a couple of times because he's only going for the option with folks already expended all of his options off stage. Great bite from Milk. I really keep on forgetting the names. I'm like, I know who's playing. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> Great coverage, throwing the bike upstairs. All right, let's see. What's the play? Just shoot past the bike. Silvio's been making really smart options as to when he should use the gun or not, because he's forcing an approach out of Milk where previously, like, Milk didn't need to approach, but he just sort of got like taunted into it but now where milk is in the driver's seat he's just eating that little bits of damage before silvio has to really like play the game like you're forcing him to pay a tax to play <laughs> that's one way of putting it and silvio is actually doing a great job of using the blaster at a good at a good distance because if you keep in mind in the past patch it did get nerfed and that you know, it's, it's not as safe as it was before. Great drift back to forward smash. And unfortunately, you know. All right, well, these this guys is, are, yeah. Uh, this is where the first set of stocks ended, too. Like, Silvio did something wolf-like, and then Milk came down with a hot back air. And now we saw take two. Problem is, we see take three in the same way. Milk's not getting his opportunity to back air. It's not his last stock. This is true, but keep, and, and like, like I said, Milk has waffed once again. And once again, you know, it's it's three minutes and thirty and twenty-four seconds left. He hasn't he hasn't opted to use it. He hasn't opted to try and convert from it. Uh, I want to see him use, use that broken option a little bit more because it is such a good move. And it's what you know, it's one of the things that makes Wario the tier that he is. But here we go, forcing Silvio to air dodge. He had the first up air to start uh, the strength, yeah, but just didn't commit. And it's just heartening when you see that, you know? It's, it's kind of like he's not confident that he's going to land. As Sylvia comes out with up smash, 
beautiful read and actually just taking it over milk. Whoa, Milk played from Silk, yeah. I feel like he tightened up his play a lot in that game three, and it, it showed because yeah. Milk was getting caught out with all the anti-air options, and he really didn't get an opportunity to make the most out of the stage because he was forced to land so often. He was just playing the game from the air, but not on his own terms. Yeah, that's actually a really good way of putting it. And that's something that you want to do as Wario. You know, you have a bunch of air mobility, and you can convert. It's literally, you know how, pe how people say Palutena is near to imagination? Let's not forget. Wario's snare is fantastic. <laughs> and when it comes to his up air, his up air is what really leads into the dangerous. Oh, stuff. hell yeah, dude. It's just Milk just wasn't following through, whether or not he wasn't confident yeah. enough in the first up air to start the string or Yeah, he had it he had it towards the he had it towards uh the end of the first of the last stop, you know? He caught him with the up air string, actually forced Silvio to air dodge directionally, which puts you in a lot of lag. Right. But unfortunately you know, he did he couldn't capitalize on that. That's how it goes though. Oh. 